All right, so Kathy, here we are sitting in the Y. We just Did you took. Start that over, honey. Like I wasn't ready. <laughs> this is going to be perfect for no, the video. You're not doing that in the video. Okay. Not ready. All right, we'll I'm see. Ready now. We'll see. Are you ready now? Yes. Well, welcome back to now the Model Y, um, where we just took delivery from Hertz. Welcome to another episode of Out of Spec Dave. I find myself on a rainy Saturday morning and I decided to do something interesting today. I'm gonna to rent a Model Y, a Tesla Model Y from Hertz and see what the process is all about. Now, I put the order in a couple days ago, a few days ago, and I've been getting some email correspondence. They've been great so far, but I wanna go pick up the car. I wanna experience renting an electric vehicle from Hertz and just learn and see how the process is all about. This should be interesting, so stick with me for a fun video today where my wife Kathy's going to be involved as we go over to pick up the Model Y in the GV60. I've really been intrigued with uh, trying to rent one of these uh, Hertz EVs. And, you know, they have Model 3s and they have Model Ys. I specifically want to try out the Model Y. Um, and uh, the reason for that is because Kathy, my wife, is in the GV60, and I think we can do some fun Comparo videos. But this video is all about the renting experience itself. And so uh, after I put in my... my uh, I went online, and I chose the local Norwalk, Connecticut, Hertz rental place. I didn't want to go to an airport where I think they have probably a higher volume uh, maybe you're a little more experienced with the delivery experience there at the at the airports. So I specifically wanted to go to a smaller Hertz rental place just to kind of see how the corporation is empowering their employees to educate the consumers about the EV driving experience. So the first thing I did was I got an email um, and it, it uh, showed me the confirmation. Hello, David Conner. Thank you for your reservation with Hertz. It was a super long email with a lot of fine print in it here, but this was basically um, the cost. It was $75.42, which was for a standard elite SUV automatic Tesla Model Y. Um, in the fine print, it does say, or similar. So we'll see what that's going to happen, what's gonna happen with that. The weekend day rate is $67. And then, um, there was no discount. I guess maybe I could have searched for a discount code. Uh, vehicle license recovery fee, $1.06. Tourism surcharge. Oh, yes. I am definitely touring Norwalk, Connecticut here. Sales tax, $6.36. And the total amount paid $75.42. Now, for an extra, I think it was $39.99, I could actually insure the car, um, if I wanted to for like lost damage waiver, if anything goes wrong with the car, if it gets stolen, if I get hit, um, it doesn't end up hitting my insurance. I opted not to do that because what I find is that oftentimes at the counter, when you go and you pick up the car, now I am Hertz Gold, but I'm definitely gonna, I, I, wanna, I want to have the experience of speaking to the people at Hertz. Um, so I'm gonna go to the counter and then, you know, oftentimes I find you can negotiate the rate down or really understand better what you're getting. Um, if you cancel within 24 hours of booking, uh, there's no fee. If you cancel more than 24 hours before the scheduled, yeah, be, more than 24 hours before scheduled pickup, there's a $50 fee. So, you know, uh, be careful about that. And if you cancel 24 hours or less before the scheduled pickup, it's a $67 fee. So anyway, the total amount that I prepaid was $75.42. So that was the first email that I got. Um, the second email was um, sent to me, let's see, I, I made that on November 28th at uh, 6.53. On November 29th, the next day, they came in with a nice email and it said, are you ready to experience the rental revolution with the capitals EV in there? So pretty cool. Um, innovative access is uh, nice pictures here. There's a picture of whether it's a three or a Y, I'm not sure. So I guess it's a mo model Y. It explains that it operates with a key card that's responsible for locking and unlocking the starting the car. So make sure, always sure 
to have it with you and never leave the in, in the car unattended. Now, I, I do have some questions. If they're gonna give me a key card, I know how that works, but what if I wanna, tomorrow morning's supposed to be super cold. What if I wanna precondition the cabin? How do I do that on the app? I'm gonna ask them that question. Um, there's a little button on this on this email that I got, how it works. So really quite nice in terms of, um, you know, the education there. And there was a big long FAQ that Hertz sent me about renting EVs, which I thought was quite well designed, uh, well, well, de de well, what am I trying to say? <laughs> it was nicely um, organized and all of that. There's a couple of other um, streamlined design from AC to apps, no waiting, no stopping if you want to enroll in gold. And um, then they talk about the Hertz app. So that was the second e second email that I got. Um, the third email was nothing more than just a, a confirmation. Since your upcoming reservation is just two days away, we wanted to share a friendly reminder of your rental details. Here's where you need to go. Um, and this is where it says pick up at 9 a.m. The vehicle, an E9 Tesla Model Y or similar. So maybe they're gonna give me a Taycan, I don't know. We'll see, that's similar, right? That's electric. Um, I definitely don't want a Model 3. I really want the Y um, for a lot of different reasons, but um, I hope they give me a Y as promised. All right, the next day on December 1st, I got another email from Hertz. It's time to explore the world of EV. And this is not your everyday SUV. Um, to ensure you get the most out of your upcoming rental, we've created a list of FAQs. This is where they sent the list of FAQs to help you get a head start on uh, the road safer, faster, and easier. You click on the button, and really quite a quite a few um, quite a few uh, you know questions and answers that are that are in there. Um, it talks a little bit about how to get in the car with these with these wonky door handles that we're used to, but you know not everyone is. Um, it talks about how to use hands-free, push, speak, and go, make adjustments uh, without taking your eyes off the road, and um, and again, reiterating the, the gold, Hertz Gold experience where you can bypass the counter. Um, the next day, uh, are you ready? It's only 24 hours until you go, and they got a lightning bolt there, electric, and another lightning bolt. I love it. You know, they're, they're, listen, this is good. I think so far, um, what they've done from an electronic uh, consumer support standpoint is good. The time is here, Hertz. Let's go. Unlock, lock, and start your Model Y with its innovative key card. Um, you know, again, this key card thing, they're, they're sort of driving home that you're not gonna get a key and don't worry about it, we got you covered. Um, learn how, another another button. Um, again, this one's got the confirmation code. There are, um, on this email also, there were essential driving tips and tricks before you hit the road, learn what to expect. Um, welcome to the Model Y, beautiful video. Uh, tips for your first drive and then charging the Model Y. Um, I didn't I didn't look at any of those because quite honestly, I think the average consumer probably doesn't look at although maybe someone who's really trying to rent a, an EV for the first time might look look at that. Again, I'm pretty sure I know all of this <laughs> having owned quite a few of these and living with EVs uh, today, including a Tesla. Um, so um, I'm sure they've done a beautiful job with the eat with the videos um, and uh, you know I'm sure they've done it right but I, I just didn't have to I, I'll check them out maybe later and then I got another email just the confirmation about the um, about the Hertz gold plus rewards account that that I have as well so um, yeah so let's uh, I think what we'll do is we'll head on over um, maybe hit Dunkin Donuts before we go and uh, let's go get the Hertz Model Y. All right, so Kathy, welcome to yet another Out of Spec Day video. How are you doing today? Fantastic, how are you? I'm really good, you know what we're doing today? I know what we're doing today. All right, what do you think about this? You told me the plan. All right, so put your, here's what I want you to do. I want you to put yourself in a mindset of you never having driven an electric car today. And I have never driven an electric car either, but I'm like, hey, let's go rent an electric car and see what it's all about. Sure. And you're like, okay, but I have a lot of questions. So I'm curious, what questions do you have? 
Like what? What would you? What's the first thing well, that would honestly, come to your mind? Well, honestly, it's not that hard. For, I don't have to dig that deep to figure out what I would ask. I would say, "Hey, where's the key? Where's okay. the start button? How do I open the handles? How do I charge? How far will it go before I have to charge? And when I get to a charger, what do I do?" Okay. Right. All right. Where's that... my heated seat? Where's my heated steering wheel? <laughs> well, your heated seat, your heated steering wheel. Uh, what about color? The important are you, question. Are you no, concerned? I'm indifferent today about you're, color. You're indifferent today about color. Because we're renting it, yes. Well, you think we're renting it, you know. I mean, you <laughs> no. never know. I mean, what if they say, do you want to buy it? Well, of course not. We each have a car. We're fine. Yeah, but, you know, there's always a deal to be had, right? In your world. So, so you have a number of questions about just the logistics of driving yeah, mechanics, right? I would just think right? the real basic that I would right. think if we're renting this Tesla, I would look at the giant screen and go, what do I do with this? What does this do? Right. How does this help me drive? So, so when, when we get in the Tesla, there's going to be very few buttons. Which is going to be a shock, right? For people, if they've never driven an electric car and specifically never driven a Tesla, it's right. very minimalistic. Very minimalistic. And what would you say that is analogous to away from cars? You don't know? What are you talking about? I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. I see what, <laughs> what you're talking about. I don't know either. I have no idea. But I'm just saying, like, you know, for example, when you were in, well, let's bring it back to cars. When you had Dunkin your. Dunkin' Donuts. All right. I know. I already hit the turn signal. Oh, there's a long line. It's not that long. Oh, boy. All right. Whatever. We'll wait. Um, so, so when you had your Porsche Macan. There were a lot of buttons. A lot of buttons. Which is why I loved it. Which is why you love it. So you love buttons. And then you had a model Y. And what did you what did you like about that car? I mean, we, we could talk we could talk more in detail, but I'm mean, just in general, what did you like about the model Y? Well, I like Tesla anyway. Mm -hmm. And I had had the three, you've had some cars, so it it felt like a non-transition really, because I was still so used to being in your Teslas and um, it just went from having a lot of buttons to all of a sudden I had to do everything on the screen. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, I took a little bit of getting used to as my daily driver. But I, I mean, I loved the car. Okay, welcome. She's, she's from Massachusetts. What's this kid? I, I, I see him. <laughs> a lot I, of people coming at what, it. All this for coffee. I made my coffee at home. Well, you also made me get up and go to Hertz Rental today, so I think made I should you get, get up. I think I should well, get a what, what it, donut made now. You got, now this A6's got to get out. The, well, maybe and there's Julia. You can move up. Quadrifolio, whatever move. quadra Italian oh sedan. It's it's after ten o'clock in the morning. Well, I didn't just get up, but I have a Saturday morning routine, and you're like, "Hey, we're going to Hertz Rental." I'm like, "For what?" Oh, you have these plans that you don't share with me. I shared it with but you. But I'm so I, gracious. I said, okay. I told you get... the other day we were doing this. No, you said you were doing it. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know this was my plan All today. Right. I'm fine with it. All right. Well, look, you know, I'm trying to make you happier with the Dunkin' Donuts. Well, you're complaining about the Dunkin' Donuts. I bet you're going to get a cranberry muffin when we get to the window. No, I'm not. Oh, I bet you are. No. And you're going to say, oh, you made me get one because I had to get you Dunkin' Donuts. But you are that's the first thing you're going to it's, order. I'm not getting a cranberry muffin. Well, now you won't do it just because, you know, you, you don't want to prove that I'm right. I'm going to get the cranberry orange muffin. <laughs> All right, next stop, next stop, Hertz Rental Car. I got a lot of questions for these people. We'll see what they say. This should be interesting. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll let them know I'm making a video. See if oh, they want to go on camera. Well, I think you should. Yeah, I think I will. Fair. Yeah. And, um, well, because the point of the video, and I think it's a, it's a great concept, it's like people sometimes before they buy an electric car, mm. it's smart to rent an electric oh, car. Oh, absolutely. And, Get a feel for what it's all about without investing thousands and thousands of yeah, dollars. Yeah, no, and, and not only just for an electric car, but I've rented cars in the past that, you know, I potentially want to buy. I think it's, just, it's gas good cars. Thing to do. You know, you go on vacation, they give you a choice of cars. All right, yeah. you know what? Here's one I've, uh, you know, I think I might want to own. Yeah. And then you have an extended test drive with it, which is, which is always a nice thing. So, um, and, and in the words of Dunkin' Donuts. To all a good bite. 
Okay, let's order your little muffin now. It is it is the Christmas holiday season. Sure is, so you should be nicer to me. <sighs> a medium pumpkin spice latte, hot. So I'd like a cranberry orange muffin. <laughs> I knew it. Cranberry orange muffin, please. I'd like a pancake wake up wrap sausage. What the, is that? I don't know. What's that? This one. The pancake wake up wrap sausage. That'll be it. They have a pancake wake up wrap. I'm looking at it. What's on it? I don't know. That's the bacon hanging out of it. But no, I, that's smart. Put some stuff inside. You a take a pancake, pancake and roll it over. That's gonna be good. I never thought of that. I don't know. That's so smart. All right, so pretty crazy phone call I just got from Tesla. The timing is insane. Insane. Um, they said it was in Milford, Connecticut, uh, and the, and the guy said, "Are you aware that there's a thirty-seven hundred and fifty dollar tax or not tax credit?" No, They're saying. Said discount. Oh, I They're just discounting the cars. So here's the thing. How weird that we're going to rent a Model Y right now. Now, I know you've got your GV60, and I know you love the GV60, but I really would love for you to keep a an open mind today. Oh, no. You feel a trade coming? No, on. I don't feel a trade coming. I'm just <laughs> saying, like, like, sometimes you need to listen to the universe, uh, right? And the universe has spoken today. And, 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 it, and Tesla... That's wacky timing. No, it's wacky. That's wacky. That's that's really wacky timing. So let's say you go, you know what, Dave? I really miss my Model Y. And after driving the GV60 for a while, which by the way, this car is worth good money. Oh, yeah. Right? If we trade it out of it, I'm just, all I'm saying, honey, all I'm saying. Is let's go look. Is, let's just go look at a puppy today. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's just go test drive this puppy for a little while because I don't know that was weird yeah, that timing was weird. now so, I feel like I have to really get a little more invested now you need to pay attention now I need to pay attention because there could be a deal brewing here there could be doubtful but we'll see. doubtful well here we are it hurts and I see a model 3 but I also see a model Y over there um only two Teslas I don't know Let's see what happens. It's a Model Y from Maryland, so hopefully that's the that's the car. Let's go on in. Terrible, terrible rainy day. Hurts. All right, so Kathy, here we are sitting in the Y. We Could just you took. Start that over, honey. Like I wasn't ready. <laughs> this is going to be perfect for no, the video. You're not doing that in the video. Okay. Not ready. All right, we'll I'm see. Ready now. We'll see. Are you ready now? Yes. Well, welcome back to now the Model Y, um, where we just took delivery from Hertz. Vanessa at the Norwalks, she was amazing. She was wonderful. Right. I mean, I tried to stump her. You did. You asked her some tough questions. I asked her some tough questions. And she was but... very articulate and gave a really thorough um, explanation of what it is like to drive. She reminded me, I, I, I was going to try and nail her on the, uh, how do you put the car in neutral, just in case said, you want to take it, take it to a uh, car, car wash. wash. And she said, just lift up on the, on the stock just a little bit. And you were go, like, yes, that's right. Yeah, but then, <laughs> but then she also <laughs> said, make sure if you do put it in a car wash, that you put it in the car wash mode on the screen. And I said, oh, why is that? She said, because it will stop your windshield wipers from going back and forth. And more importantly, it'll stop the flap, the charging port from opening. And uh, that's sort of a common thing because if you go to a non-touchless car wash, there's pressure that will hit that flap, it'll open it up, and then it gets ripped off. What was your thought? You heard everything. Well, I thought if I was um, a person who never drove an electric car or maybe needed a refresh. So for right now, I'm sitting in the Y and I actually feel like I need a refresh if yeah. I'm going to drive it. But she explained, she should have been on camera. She was really I know, but really you know what? She, she, with yeah. all due respect, you know, it's it's a corporation sure. and, and uh, sure. so we have to respect that. But, but she took it through with the card, right? And where you right. tap. To so get into the car so and then she, how to how to put it down. So, so the way that it. the way that um, that Hertz does this is they give you a key card, and she explained that in order to drive the car, you have to touch the keypad or the card 
to the B pillar. Yep. And then you need to place it on the right here in the center console. Um, what else did she do? She she explained that. Well, she explained state of charge. So how much we have now, what we should return the car with. Right. How to find the supercharger on the navigation. Well, well let's back up. It was so a lot I of asked her what state of charge. I said, what state of charge is the car at? She said 86%. I was like, wow, okay. I said, was the car delivered to you at 86%? She said, no, it wasn't. We had to charge it here. I, I should have asked her where they charge it because I, I didn't, I didn't maybe around back or something. That's what I would think. They probably have a, um, you know, repair a place where they service the cars. Um, but I also said to her, what state of charge do I have to return the car at? Now that, what, what did she say to that? She said, um, no more than less than 10%, right? Less than 10. Well, I think she meant from where you left. So no, I think she, so there were a couple of things that was a little confusing. Um, first of all, I said, well, what if I return the car with 2%? She and said, she said, can't. she said, the car won't let you go less than 9%. I said, oh, really? And then I said, we got to test that, which we do. Yeah. And here we are at 84% state of charge. No, 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 we're not testing that because she said it will stop at 9% and yeah. then you'll need roadside assistance. Right, exactly. Well, I'm not going to be part of that. Oh, part the, of there's video. no way. I'm not doing there's it. There's no way that the car is, is, is set to, to stop on the side of the road at 9%. I'm testing that for sure. Okay, we test it by yourself. I am not going to be your rescue mission. Well, that's. Uh, <sighs> This marriage only goes so far. <laughs> you remember the meatloaf song? But I won't, won't do, do that. that. Yeah, well, that's what you won't that's, do. That's all right. Finally so finally figured out what right, I want. Well, yeah. Do. All right. So anyway, so so I doubt that's the case. I think they just tell people that as to be, safe. to be safe, right? But one of the things she also said is that if you return the car, just like with a with a gas car. You have to return it if you go with a three quarters of a tank. You have to return it with three quarters of a tank. But if you don't, there's a $35 charge. And I said, well, what if I return it with, you know, 80%? She said, ah, we probably won't charge you for that. So they're testing out a new policy with this $35 charge. That's, that's quite interesting. Um, I also asked her about where to charge. Yes. And she said, if you hit the screen, then what will come up is the lightning bolt mm -hmm. where it will show you all the different charging stations mm -hmm. she said you just hit one of those charging stations navigate to it yeah. and it'll take you right to the place and then i said okay well when i get there what do i do she said well there's a couple ways to open the charging port all right she, knew, right she knew she knew she knew all three ways um she explained to me exactly how how that would work yeah. um which was great either on the screen um, or touching the the charging port, or touching mm -hmm. the the little button on the on, and then I asked her, what happens if I charge at if I want to charge not at a supercharger? You were trying to stump her. I was her. trying to stump trying her. Very hard to stump her. I know. I know. I was pretty good. There was one thing I did teach her, which I was proud about. Oh yeah, I'll tell you about that. Yeah. That, um, but uh, but you know, I asked her about level two charging, and she said, oh, there is a cable in the back. Yeah. And and I asked her if the J1772 the Tesla adapter was in there, and I thought for sure she was going to look like, at me across it. And she said, "Oh no, that's in the case in the back as yeah. well." I said, "Okay, great." <laughs> so we could so, not stump Vanessa. So, but then she started to explain, and she said, "Now a lot of people when they drive these cars." Tell her about what the braking situation, like what did she say about the braking? Oh, how when you take your foot off the gas and it starts to slow it down. Yeah, and, and I loved how she used confused. the word gas. Yeah, she did say the gas pedal. The gas you pedal. Take your foot off the gas and, pedal. And I gave her a little little nudge on that. that you mean fine. the accelerator and she chuckled, but um, but yeah, I mean, I still call it the gas pedal, of course. Uh, it, it's the, it's you give it the gas, you give it the juice, right. whatever. Um, but she said that you're gonna feel like you're slowing down. And she said, don't let that bother you. Right, that's normal. Right. Now she also explained creep mode. Yes. Right. Yes. And she also explained um, well. Back to the regenerative braking, she called that automatic braking, which is fine. And we had a little chat about that. Mm -hmm. I explained what regen is doing and why it's doing it. And I also explained to her that at a higher state of charge, you're going to feel less regen. Right. Well, you get very technical. Oh, no, but just she, she understood she what I was it. saying. I said, yeah. the, the, the energy doesn't have anywhere to go back to the battery pack. So it wastegates it off and you'll feel like is you coast. Is person like not happy that we're parked here? I don't know. 
can't tell. What it's that security. Is. He can be in our video if he wants He's to. He's in our video. So, uh, hold on. Let in me just check with him. parking lot. You all right? Okay, cool. Yes, it was all good. <laughs> the security guard was checking out the GV60 in the Model Y. <laughs> <laughs> He's like all into I it. I wondered like why he was just there. He's like, is that a, is that an electric car? <laughs> so, anyway. Um, so yeah, we talked a little bit about regen, and um, you know, I, look, I told her that I'm very familiar with the car. You're very familiar with the car. We don't really need you to go through, but I said, you know, any any pointers as far as how to use the car, and she said, really, just you know, get in the car, um, put it in gear, and, and drive it. And she was right. willing to go in the car and show me everything, but it was also pouring rain it's out. Such a nasty day. I know. Yeah. So. Overall, she did a fantastic job. I was unbelievably impressed yeah. with the level yeah. of uh, understanding, her depth of knowledge, her very calm demeanor, and yeah. how to explain to someone who's never been in an electric car, you know, what what to do. And yeah, she was terrific she, experience. So the one thing I did ask her about was, uh, ex you know, how the economics work as far as charging goes. And what she said is that Hertz has worked it out with Tesla so that when you do charge at a, su at a supercharger, it's just going to bill directly to my credit card that I use to rent the That's car. Right. Seamless. Plug and charge. You know, no apps. Yeah. Nothing, right? So, you know what? That is a win. Um, in, in, it's, it's a combination of the functionality of plug and charge with touch, touch, that Tesla offers and the um, you know the stations being everywhere, but how they actually have it now pushed out to your credit card as opposed to them having to bill you at a later date um, w was very seamless. So uh, yeah, look, you know this is a it's a it's a white model Y. It's a this is a let me just go over some of the. Um, some of the the specs and on this car. And you were also happy because you were sure that they were not going to give you a Y. You're like, I bet they only yeah, have a three. In I there. know. I and know. we pulled up and we saw a three right away. Yeah. And then you were like, wait, there's a Y. Yeah. And that she said cool. someone someone this morning had actually asked for an electric car and and uh, and and they they didn't have one. So this this car here is a Model Y. It's a long range. It is, I don't know what year this car is. I, I think it's a 2022. Um, it has, it has, uh, it does, it has the full self driving computer on it, which all do. It's running version 11. Um, I have to check and see what the most recent version is. It's not running FSD. It doesn't have full self driving. It's the autopilot included. The one thing that she did not even mention which I thought was interesting what? was autopilot. And you know what? I don't think that's a bad thing. I agree. You know, why, why should Hertz be encouraging people to use? I mean, one side of the equation is they should be encouraging people to try out the technology, right? Which is, which is auto autopilot and there's no FSD. There's no enhanced autopilot on this, but lane keeping and dynamic cruise control or adaptive cruise, you, you know, those would be two things that I, I think would be, interesting for me if I was trying to rent a, a Tesla. Well, I wonder if they do that kind of training even if you're renting a regular car that has um, you know the That's safety true. features. Do they bring that up? No. Do they mention that? It, I, don't, so. I, I think you're right Kathy but I, I also say that you know a lot of people when they associate Tesla they think oh that's the car that drives itself. Yeah no hands. You know what I mean? So yeah. so uh, but I, I, don't, I didn't push her on that and, and I thought that was okay that she didn't that she didn't mention, uh, you know, anything to do with, with that. The car has, um, like I mentioned, it's got about twelve thousand miles on it, and um, yeah, I mean, I think well, so so far, I think the way Hertz has communicated to me up front with all the emails, the fact that they said they were going to get me a Y, they did get me a Y. Um, you know, the the handoff was was very good, excellent. I I really think they could not have done a better job. I agree. I would highly recommend, at least up to this point, if you have any interest. This is look seventy five bucks, right? The the insurance Rent a car and figure it out. The insurance was expensive, right? You know, like they wanted thirty one dollars a day for 
any kind of collision. Right. And then it was 49 if it was collision and also liability if someone else hits you and they claim you caused it. Sure. Um, I passed on that just because I figured, you know what, I've got my own, we've got our own insurance. And, um, but I think online it was 39.99 for everything. And in the shop, it was actually $49 and she did not have the ability to discount that it was set in the system okay. so look we made the executive decision let's pass on that sure. but um yeah so look you know the car itself is um you know it's a white it's got the i think they're 20 inch uh turbine wheels which are pretty ratted up um they've got a lot of curb rash on them i'm sure the car has has some some mileage on it um, but you know, look as far as as far as uh, the rental experience, um, this is great. You know, one thing I forgot to ask her, I'm right. going to call her, is we're returning the car tomorrow. They're okay. closed. So what time do I need to return the car by? Because if I, I, I and maybe I can keep the car for the whole day. I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to give her a call. And I ask actually her. thought it was going back later today. I didn't no. know we had it. No, I want to keep overnight. it. I want to keep it overnight. Okay. So. I mean, we got a lot of driving to do. If we're at eighty-four percent state of charge, then I got to get down to the magical nine percent and see if this thing just stops. You know, I got to. Uh, we have to test that. No, you have to test. So that. we have to go on a road trip. You have to go on a road trip. I'm not. I'm not gonna live on the edge like you. What edge? The nine percent edge. The nine percent <laughs> edge. Okay. Well, listen. This concludes my Hertz rental of the Tesla Model Y and I must say I'm extremely satisfied not only with the car the condition of the car but the whole process of logging on to their system putting in the reservation all the email traffic ahead of time the actual person from the Hertz office right here knew a lot about the car I was pleasantly surprised and here's what I will tell you if you have any interest in trying to drive an electric vehicle just to get the experience for it. 75 bucks, I highly recommend. Contact Hertz, rent a car. They've got it down pat. They know what they're doing. I highly recommend it. Thanks again for watching another episode of Out of Spec Dave, and it's back to the GV60.